It's seed starting day on the homestead. Gonna be using our Hoss tomatoes. These are for orders. I've got other seeds lined up out here. These are things that I'm gonna be using um, all throughout the season. But today, it's about the tomatoes and getting them ready for my orders. I've got Pro Mix Seed Starter. I've got Fish Emulsion diluted in a spray bottle that I get from Hoss. And I wanted to show you some of the other products that I have that I will be using throughout the season with the vegetables. In preparation for my garden, my soil test showed that I needed some lime, so I got some pelletized lime. I've got the uh, elephant garlic, and I've got some onions. It's gonna need some ammonium sulfate. And then for my tomatoes and peppers, I've got calcium nitrate, uh, gypsum, and just regular organic fertilizers that should cover everything that I could possibly need at the time. So, I also have worm castings. Now, that I do not get from Hoss. I'll show you that in a bit. When you order your seed starting kit from Hoss Tools and you get the premium kit that comes with the Pro Mix and uh, some seeds, and it comes with label markers so that you can mark your rows of whatever you're planting. And these are real nice. And it comes with a garden marker, not just a Sharpie, but one that's made uh, to last. And what I like to do on mine is take a piece of masking tape and put there to write on instead of writing on the wood so that I can reuse. I'm all about some recycle, reuse, and repurpose. And so that's what I do. And the way I did is I put what type of tomato or whatever you're planting and um, whether it's determinate, hybrid, indeterminate, and the date that I'm actually starting it. Then once it germinates, I'll come back and either on here, write the date it germinated, or in my notebook. I have a notebook of where I keep track of what I'm doing when. So that's just something handy that I do. I use a notebook to keep track of who I do what for, when I do it, when it germinates, what type, whether it's indeterminate, hybrid, determinate, it, what kind of fertilizer I used or whichever, which when I'm seed starting, I use the fish emulsion. I've got my seed starter mix and then I come in with my worm castings. So to save a mess and from opening another bag of Pro Mix because I already have some, I'm just gonna show you, this is my smaller bucket. I have the big bucket of worm castings sitting below but this is the Pro Mix, and it is very nice. It's got a little bit of perlite in it, a little bit of bark, not much, but it's very airy. Um, I don't always pre-moisten. Today I did not. It feels a little damp already coming out of the bag. Uh, but for me, I just prefer to fill my holes, and it's really easy just to, to dump and go and rub it in like so. And then once I plant whatever I'm planting, and I make, you know, my little dentin, just put my seed in and then cover it back over, then I just give it a squirt of fish emulsion. Just to dampen it just a little bit because I don't want it to be really wet. Uh, you don't need that when you're trying to germinate. You don't need sopping wet soil. So, and then once it, uh, a day or so passes by, then I'll put a mild diluted version of my fish emulsion in the bottom to water and let it come through the top and just rise up that way and then once everything starts sprouting and it gets its true leaves then i'll come back and give it a misting of fish emulsion and that's how i do that so i put in my pro mix plant my seeds give it a dusting over sprinkle a little worm castings and mist with this fish emulsion. I'm probably going to end up opening this other bag of Pro Mix anyway. But just, just so that you're seeing, um, it's just easier to handle a bucket to me. And I just tamp it down a little bit. Let 
and I'm gonna get some more Promix. Okay, so this is the Promix, and I filled my bucket. And I believe that this 162 self starter tray, um, this 116 quart bag of Promix will fill it twice. So I've ordered quite a bit of this. I've given away a couple bags as uh, prizes. And I, I really like it. You can just crumble it up really easy if you see any clumps. And it'll just break right or loose. And I'll just do that and shove it into my cells. I wish I was outside doing this, but today it is storming and the temperatures have dropped. So we're gonna do this in the house. And it won't take long to clean it up. We'll get all this filled in. Oh, you see that big old clump? Let's play with that. It just crumbles right up. This stuff is great for starting seeds. And this has got the mycocorrhiza in it. So it's great for your seedlings. You really don't need to do the worm castings uh, unless you just, you know, like me and like to do that. It's not required with this. This, this has got what your seedlings need. Got a little peat moss in it. Maybe some vermiculite or something. I'll have to go back and read to know exactly what's in, but it's not soil. So that's, that's one thing. You don't want to start your seeds in soil unless you have no other option. You know, or you're starting it outdoors. That's different. I like the smell of dirt. And again, I just tamp it down. Anything that shakes loose, I put it into cells that are not as full as the others. Okay, so we're going to start with the Bella Rosa, and I'm just going to come in, make sure these little cells are nice and full and packed down. I'm going to make an indention with my finger. That's all you got to do. Place your seeds in. That need a little more dirt. This tray is super sturdy. I love that. I've been using those lightweight things and they just flip and flop and twist and turn on you. This one's not gonna do that. So that's wonderful. Let's get this open. Uh, most of Hoss's uh, seeds are pelleted and that makes life easy. Let's see. These are little pelleted seeds. I'm not sure if you can see that. I don't want to spill them. But they're nice and easy so you can just get one and you're not wasting seeds. I don't like to have it thin so it's nice for me to be able to just throw a seed in there and be done. I've got a couple left over. I'm just going to do these two rows, just showing you my little methods of madness. And I just come back in and tap it to the dirt a little bit just so that you get soil contact. And if you need extra dirt, it's right here. Just throw it on top of there. Just as long as you get good soil contact, you're good to go. I'll put my label marker in. All right, I've got these two rows. I'm gonna reach right around here and grab my handy dandy bucket of worm castings. I've got a scoop and I just get a little tiny bit. It does not take much at all and sprinkle it over. Kind of rub it across there. Take my fish emulsion. Just a quick dampening, and that's how I start my seeds. So 162 cells, 27 Bella Rosa, 
45 Brickyard, 45 Celebration, 45 Taki. And that is our Haas Tools Seed Starts for February 19th, 2020. All right, got my Haas tray under the lights. Doesn't really have to be there until it germinates, but I always start them under the lights anyway. You can order anything from Haas that you would like using my affiliate link that I'll have in the description below. And that'll give me a little credit for sharing the sale. And I'm gonna tell you about the worm castings. I order about 30 pounds at a time, and I order mine from Kip Bonin at the Gardener's Pharmacy. I met Mr. Kip last year at the 2019 First Annual Bayou Bash that was hosted by Broussard Homestead, Four Blessing Farm, and A Table Full. So, um, these are a little bit more expensive than what you could get on Amazon. I understand that. But I believe you get what you pay for. And as you can see, these are super dark and rich. So I'm going to leave Mr. Kip's contact information at the end of this. And uh, y'all can contact him as well to get some high quality worm castings. He sells face to face in small quantities and he'll be in at the value bash. Or you can order in bulk like I do in He'll have his company that he works for send them out. I appreciate you watching and learning about some of the items that you can get from Haas Tools and how Mimsy goes about starting her seeds. I'll show you in a few days when they start sprouting. We'll come back and look at it again and go to the next step before we pot up.